Hello YouTube, my name is Victor and I made this how-to video to explain how to manually set up a TP-Link print server. The one I'm using is the one you can see on my desktop's wallpaper. I'm going to do this setup in three steps. First of all, I need to find out what's the IP address of my router. Second is to configure the print server. And third is to add a printer. To find the router's IP address, need to open command prompt. You can use a run window by pressing Windows and R key, or right-click on Start and click on Run. In this window, type CMD and hit OK. Now type ipconfig and hit Enter. Now in this window, we need to look for the wireless adapter. This one is mine. Now the default gateway is telling you what's the IP address of the router. I'm going to take a note of my IP address. It's 192.168.192.1. The print server comes with the default IP address 192.168.0.10. My router's IP address is 192.168.192.1. And by looking at this, I can see that the first three sets of numbers are not the same. This means that they are not on the same network, so they cannot talk to each other. If this is not your case, you can jump to the third step and add a printer. In my case, I need to change the server's IP address. I pick this IP address where you can see the first three sets of numbers will be identical with my router's IP address. And this will put them on the same network. Once we decided what IP address to give to the server, need to open network connections. Use Windows and R key again, type ncpa.cpl and hit OK. In this window you can see the network adapters, wireless adapter and my virtual adapters. Don't need to worry about those. What we are going to look at is the Ethernet adapter. At this point you can connect the print server to the laptop with an Ethernet cable. Make sure that the server is powered on. Now right click on the Ethernet adapter. Open Properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4, TCP slash IP properties. Now the automatic you can change to the manual. Use the following IP address and type in 192.168.0.2. Hit tab and the subnet mask will come up 255.255.255.0. Click OK and you can close the windows now. Now to verify that you are connected with the print server, open a web browser. In the address line type 192.168.0.10. If everything was done correctly, the browser should open the system settings of the server. If a login window would appear, just enter admin in lowercase as the user and then click OK. In setup you can change the server's name, protect it with a password, etc. What I want to do is change its IP address so my router can communicate with it. Now click on TCP IP. Use the following TCP IP settings and just change the address for 192.168.192.3. Subnet mask stays. The default router is, the, is it is my router. So it's 192.168.192.1. Now save and restart. This will take a couple of seconds. At the end you lose the connection with the server. That's okay, just close the window. Now disconnect the server from the laptop and you can connect it to the router. Next thing I want to do is add a printer. In my case the printer is already installed. Let's use the run window again. Windows and R type control printers. This will open the devices and printers. There is my default printer. Click on Add Printer. Select the printer that I want wasn't listed. Add the local printer or network printer. Next. Create a new port. Standard TCP IP port. Click Next. 
IP address is 192.168.192.3 for the port name I'm just gonna add like PS for print server make sure this box is unticked next detecting DCP IP port system cannot find anything but that's okay on the next page select custom then settings verify that the IP address and the host name are correct select LPR Q name LPR1 OK and next on the next page it will ask you to select the printer driver or you can also use CD or DVD that came with your printer Once you select the driver, click on next. In case that you already have your printer installed, select replace the current driver. Now click next. Here you can add some name of the new printer driver. I'm gonna call it uh, print server. Next, click on do not share this printer, hit next, and ta-da, printer successfully added. We can see the new printer in devices and printers, it's set as default printer. If you want to add printer to another computer, just repeat the steps in the third part of this video. Hope the video helped. If you would need any additional help, just contact me. Otherwise guys, thanks for watching.